Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Raid Review, episode number five. In today's episode, we have a submission from Grizzly Gamer. Grizzly Gamer Live. It is a squad gameplay on Interchange. And for those of you that frequent my stream, you guys probably know that Interchange is one of my favorite maps, if not my favorite map uh, in all of Tarkov. Besides its lighting issues, it's a fantastic map and an even more fantastic map for squad gameplay. Interchange is super omega hyper pog for squad gameplay because there is so many routes you can take on this map. There's so many ways you can flank people. If you have multiple members of your squad, you can have one person hold people down in a certain position, let your teammates maneuver around the map in order to get a better angle on the people that you are fighting. Interchange is the land of opportunity as far as it goes. I'm pretty sure out of most of the maps in this game, that Interchange probably has the most, like, flankability, maneuverability, hard cover, and just, yeah, it's it's great. Uh, and it's for all of those reasons that I love Interchange. I love how you can maneuver around this map. I love the PvP on this map. It's always really interesting. Like, the you never usually have the same encounter twice on Interchange. So, let's get right into it. So, again, I have quickly flicked through this a little bit to have a look. And uh, it looks pretty juicy, so... I'm just gonna let this play out. Yeah, you wanna push it? I don't have a full auto gun, so I'd rather not run first. Or... Okay, so it looks like he is running an ADAR. Uh, we're starting off here right next to Trend, which is near Idea. So, going up this stairwell here, what should we expect? Look straight down the hallway, you might see other people coming directly towards you. That's what I always do. As soon as I get up here, I always look straight down the hallway and see if there's anybody walking towards me. All right, so we're choosing to just walk up, make less noise. That's good. That sounded like it was up top, I think. I got, I got visual. Okay. Yep, I just saw him. Yeah, you just saw his gun there. Okay, so now we have people confirmed down the end of the hallway. There's three of you guys. Let's see what you guys do. He's, he's in mid. Squad of two, squad of two. Okay, so everybody's aiming down the hallway. That can be good, man. Holding multiple angles. Keep the guy pinned. We now know there's two. Two confirmed. So we're pushing up a little bit here. You can see him. The fog does make it difficult to see here, but... You should be able to see them... Um, skyline it a little bit against the uh, against the fog. One thing I'm a little bit worried about here, you should probably have one of your guys split off. As soon as you come up the escalator, you want to go left and go past the phone store and maybe hold that angle. In case there's more than just two guys, you might be getting flanked right now. Also, uh, the ADAR, okay? So you're using an ADAR, you want to stay long range. This is where this gun excels at, unless your point shooting is really accurate. Um, you don't really want to be taking super close range engagements with the ADAR. It definitely excels at a longer range, which is what you have here. So this is perfect for you right now. Yeah, yeah. Far, far end corner. Uh, far end of the hallway. Far end, right side, left uh, side. Left or right, left or right. Uh, very far end. Right side, left side. He's, he's bouncing back and forth. Okay. Good communication. Uh, I don't have enough range to hit him. Getting a little bit ballsy here. Pushing up a little bit more. All right. So there's one of these suits right up here. Nice clearing of the angles there before you expose yourself. That's nice. Like you're right at the opening. Okay. Shit. Bad nade, bad nade, bad nade. <laughs> it happens. Bad nade. At least you called it. Oh, you see him. Good calls. Your teammate should know exactly where that is. Alright. 6x guy, go ahead and try and... Pin them down, we'll tag them once. Okay, so that guy's pretty pinned there. If I was you guys here, I would probably send one of your guys to go this way. Maybe cut through the double doors here, move down in through the backside of the uh, little food outlets, into the clothing store that's on the other end of it, maybe use that as a flank. You could even go further left. You can go way further left. You could go all the way down to the other end of the other hallway and snipe them down from that angle, like past the escalators while you guys are holding here. 
You have the time. They won't be able to hear you if you go all the way back from where you came from and flank around that way. But all three of you guys seem to be holding this angle. You seem to be kind of dead set on holding this for the time being. I hope somebody flanks. That would be that would be perfect here. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure you guys have confirmed that it's only two. I don't think you guys have seen any more people. A flank here is the play. I died. Oh, what? Close. And they got to you first, I guess. Wow, what are the odds? <laughs> okay, so it looks like a guy has now flanked around this way. What this tells me is maybe there's a third member of this team. Maybe it's another person. Maybe it's another party. I don't know. But if there is a guy here, there is a potentially a chance that there might be a guy coming all the way back from where you guys came from. And nobody seems to be watching that that I can tell for the time being. So let's see how this plays out. Close left, close left. In, into this into this first little fraction hall thing right here. I'm going to turn my yeah, mic yeah. off. I like that. His teammate died. I'm going to turn my mic off. That's fair. Um, he didn't call where he died from, probably because he maybe doesn't know, but his teammate saw where he died from anyway. So he just turns his mic off, walks away from his PC. That's the good play. That's the good play. Let your buddies play it out now. And uh, if they live, they'll dump your gear. And if not, well, welcome to, uh, welcome to EFT. It's just how it goes sometimes. Okay. He might try to flank behind us. I think we need to fall back. Good call. All right, that's what I like to hear. When you're caught in a position like this and you can't actually dedicate enough manpower to watch all of your angles, if you just move as a group together back to where you could potentially be flanked from, you're eliminating a lot of angles that you can be screwed from. Where you guys are now isn't great. You can be pushed from the left, uh, being back over uh, this side, like more to his right. You can be pushed from um, the other side here where they can come through the clothing stores on this side from that other two man you were fighting. They can also come up from behind you and just completely pinch you. These guys might be two completely different squads, but you are the peanut butter to their slices of bread right now and you seem to be stuck between them. You want to like get out of this situation as quick as you can because it probably won't end well if you guys end up staying where you are right now. Yeah. Okay, so you're watching behind. There you are. <laughs> Also, nice to see somebody using the Elkin. Elkin's Elkin's pretty good. I stopped using it, but I like I'm a more of a Valde fanboy these days. Okay, running back. I think your teammate's with you. I ran back where we came from. The escalators. Okay. Okay, you're out of sight in the hallway now. That's good. You just have to worry about here. You'll hear them if they're coming up the escalator. Hold left side because if that guy's gonna push, he's gonna push. It's gonna be close range. Nice. Okay, so you're going back to watch the original angle here. This is good. I like this. Good communication again. Oh, and finally we don't have a raid where somebody's using a 7.62 rifle. Pog. <laughs> Actually, you want to push this? He's got a hunter vepper. Probably not the best of ideas. Good call. <laughs> yeah, pushing a hunter vepper can be kind of scary. Uh, you guys don't need to push here. These people know that they've killed one of you guys. They're probably going to hunt you down. If you just stay holding your angles, they will likely push towards you. And there are some nasty spots around where you are now that you can hold. Okay, so some thunder and lightning going on. I don't see anything. Okay. Okay. It's gone very quiet all of a sudden. They're moving towards you, probably, but very quietly. They don't want you to know where they're coming from. It's probably going to be very quiet until it's very loud. Very quickly, probably. It's yeah. generally how this goes. Gotcha. Oh, okay, okay. He's, he's on me. I need, I need help. I need help. Come in, come in, come in. I'm dead. You okay. Him, go ahead and dish my crap. She fucked him up a little bit. Smoke grenade. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what the point of the smoke grenade is. Maybe you want to throw it into the hallway to block him off to grab your buddy's gear, maybe? Okay. He's running away. So, those shots you took there, you could maybe have been a little bit more patient with that and maybe taken the headshot, but I understand, you know, he was right in front of you. You wanted to try and get him down as quick as you could. See, that's the problem with the ADAR. 
long range tapping heads is what this gun is kind of built for. Um, that kind of close to mid range kind of tap firing. The gun does like kick a decent bit. Um, by comparison to like a full auto HK or a full auto M4 or something like that. So. Okay, nice. Pre-hitting a morphine. Always a good call. Um, That's actually disgusting. I didn't know you could shoot through this. That's actually horrible. <laughs> okay, good. Rechecking your older angles. You might want to think about getting into a spot here that favors you in a push. You've got a lot of angles here to cover as one person. This is kind of scary. I'm sure you're probably thinking the exact same thing right now, too. What kind of ammo were you running your gun? Uh, it, it, the stuff Killer uses. Angle Nick, yep. Yep. Okay, yeah. I think that's what he was trying to achieve with the smoke grenade. He wanted to smoke the guy off so he could grab his full auto gun so he'd be at more of an advantage at, uh, like, close range combat with a full auto gun. All right, that's good. Um, so it seems like you're taking shots here. Yeah, you think you can get the... Yeah, so he knows where you are. That's a little bit spooky. So, yeah, it's an SVD, I think. I, I've always find it so hard to tell the difference between the Veppers and the SVDs. Turn this up a little bit. It's hard to judge what you guys can hear and what I can't. Or what I can hear and you guys can't. He's playing this pretty well so far. I like how he's just sitting still, not moving, and just listening. That's something I like to do a lot. Audio could be a very, very, very large help to you in this game. If you just take the time to stop for a second and just listen out for where they're moving, you can figure out where they are. They might not realize that's what you're doing, but you're gaining information by doing that. He really wants to grab that gun off his buddy. Nice. Good shot, man. Alright, good shit. That's one down. Ooh! Oh, are you peeking the same angle? Never a good idea. Good job there. Not, like... I will say here, committing to that was good. You shot him, he moved back. That was his mistake. He sh probably should have committed to the shot there. As soon as you unpeak an angle like that, don't re-peek it. Because 9 out of 10 times, the guy is already holding where your head is going to be, and then you're dead. Just like this guy was. What that guy should have done just there was flank around to where his buddy went, or hold a different angle and wait for you to come to him. Never repeat the same angles like that. It will get you killed 9 out of 10 times in this game. Probably even more than 9 out of 10 times. Um, so, very big boo-boo by that guy. That back right. Hold on, I'm, I'm so worried about these other guys we were pushing earlier. I think they might be gone working around here. Okay, so he seems to be under the impression that the two guys he just killed are not a part of this other group. So he thinks there's more. Okay. Um, let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious now as well myself. They don't seem to be down the hallway anymore. Where could they be? Take your time to repack your mags. You only brought two with you. It's a good call. You're relatively safe where you are. Uh, this is an ADAR, by the way. One of those guys had an attack too, so I can grab that. Okay. Uh, if you have time, can you just grab my gun? It yep. sh should be at you. Shut the fuck up and let your friend play. Stop asking him to grab your gun. Don't pressure him. He's fighting people. 
Let the raid play out. When everybody's dead, there'll be plenty of time to ditch your gun that cost you, you know, 150k or some shit to build. 150, 200k or something like that. Just let your buddy play, okay? You slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. In other words, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to play the game. <laughs> that's that's what give me a second means in this context. <laughs> my, uh, my AK folds. <laughs> my AK folds. No one cares, Kevin. Shut up. Let him play the game. <laughs> my crap's insured, so you can just ditch it somewhere. <laughs> Kevin! Kevin, stop talking. Let your friend play the game. <laughs> just let him play. They got me. Okay, so you did see a guy down at the end of the hallway. He probably didn't see you, though. He might have heard you run away, though. I'd be careful of that. Oh, you like to play these nasty angles, man. I hate people like you. People like you suck to run into. <laughs> might have just dropped him. Get the fuck out of here. What a shot, man. <laughs> what a shot. Yep, I did drop him. I shot him through the plant. Headshot. <laughs> Good shot, man. Jesus. Oh, hello, friend. Dropped him, too. Okay, I don't know what the hell that guy was doing. Oh! Gentleman in prone at the end of the hallway. That's scary. I ran into another one. Oh. Don't heal here. Don't heal here. You're fine. You're fine. You're not bleeding. Okay, cancel the heal. Good shit. How many times have oh, oh. Okay. Uh let me have a quick look here. I, let's see how many how many times you maybe got him here. Let's have a look. Let's have another like slow peek at this. How many times? Yeah, you should have you should have slowed down your shots there a little bit for sure. If you were a little bit more patient with those shots, you would have killed him just now. I understand though, you know, heart's probably racing. It's very intense. You've got two bleeds right now. Ah, unlucky man. I killed five people. Jesus fuck. Damn. Good raid though, nonetheless, man. That was good. Um Your teammates didn't really do much for you, but uh Yeah. You know, what, what can you do? It was a good raid, though. It's definitely a good raid. Um, that last guy... Yeah, if you were just being a little bit more patient. Let's see. Yeah, five people. Good shit, man. Nice raid. Oh, I killed four. Oh, four people. Sorry. All right. Good shit, man. Um, good raid. Uh, I will say... The last dude, the only thing that kind of caught you there was not uh, slowing down your fire a little bit. You didn't have your gun, uh, your gun's recoil like reduced enough to the point where you could just kind of tap fire from that distance without much of a kick to it. Your gun did kick quite a decent little bit there. Um, that was the only thing that really faulted you. Everything else, the angles you held, the way you played it quite patiently, you waited for them to come to you, that was all great. Uh, that guy you head tapped over the bush, that was disgusting. That was filth. I need to have a shower after watching that shot. That was absolutely disgusting. But yeah, very good. Um, the communication from your teammates while they were alive was pretty good. Um, what I would recommend, though, is in future, you're playing with those same guys again, have a button on your keyboard that just mutes Discord. And just concentrate because it is very off-putting. I know some people kind of take it for granted. When you're in a situation like that, it can be very off-putting when your teammates are just like casually talking to you as they're dead. Like once you die, I don't care what you do. Mute your mic. Before you do that, tell them where you died from. If you know, don't say anything else. Let your buddy play the raid out. Once he's dead or once he's extracted or once he's in the clear, you know, then you can talk about like ditching gear or ask them like, is your stuff insured or is there anything you want me to take out in particular or blah, blah, blah. Like you can do that. That's fine. But it might not seem like it made any difference in this raid, but maybe in another raid, it might've made a difference where somebody might've been talking. You might've missed the footstep. You might've missed some like really critical information that could have gotten you killed. 
Um, so yeah, all in all, pretty good raid. Uh, the communication was pretty good, other than the fact that your teammates kept talking when they were dead. Really nice, clean shots with the eight air, man. That was good. And then for the last guy, I wouldn't really worry too much about it, man. You just tapped a little bit too quickly. Yeah, I feel like you just got like a bit excited, a little bit ahead of yourself with the last few shots, and that was it. If you were like a little bit more patient with it, you probably could have just tapped him. But that nah, way she goes. As for when you came around the corner there finally and saw him standing in the doorway of the store to your right, um, I did notice that your gun was aimed quite low, aiming a little bit higher. You should always, when you stand up, when you're walking around in Tarkov, I see people do this all the time. I Sometimes I'll be like flicking around streams and I'll see people and they'll have their gun like facing down, like towards the floor or towards like, like maybe like, you know, dick height. Like you, do, you don't want to have your gun at dick height. You want to have your gun at like chest and head height. Because if you start point firing and if you're shooting them center mass, oftentimes the recoil will carry the gun's uh, barrel up towards head height. So that's why you'll always see people like myself, uh, you know, and other Tarkov streamers um, that have played the game for a shit ton, we'll always have our gun at like a ready position, but always center mass height, at least. I try and go for like head mostly. There's absolutely nothing wrong with going for just chest height as well, though, because as I said, the recoil does often carry the shots up to the head level as well. Um, because I think the first shot you fired there at the end actually went into that dude's leg. So... Maybe just, you know, like he had you dead there. There wasn't really a whole lot you could have done. If you came around that corner and you point fired one shot straight into that dude's head. That would have been the only time I feel like you live that situation. There wasn't really much room for you to maneuver, to fall back, to heal. He would have just chased you down. I don't know how badly you messed him up. You might have hurt him pretty badly and he might have just said screw it and just ran towards you. I wish we could see how much damage you did to every individual uh, PMC that you fought. That would be interesting to know. But yeah, other than that, man, great shots. Communication was pretty good. And yeah, thank you very much for sending me in the raid. Mr. Grizzly Gamer Live. Good man. Thank you very much for sending me the raid, dude. Guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Raid Review, please do me a favor and go give Mr. Grizzly Gamer Live a follow. His Twitch will be in a link in the description. It is the least that you guys can do for him providing the content for me to even make this series possible. Thank you very much, man. Guys, also... If you want to be in a raid review yourself and you feel like you have a raid that, you know, you want me to break down or whatever, join my Discord. And there is a section in my Discord called Raid Review. Just throw your link to your Twitch VOD or your YouTube video in there. I don't accept links of any other kind. Don't send me Dropbox links. Don't send me anything else. YouTube and Twitch links. That is all I'm taking. I'm taking the nada goddamn other thing, okay? So yeah. Lads, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like to let me know you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you might have done differently. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.